Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to do the big head effect in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I shot this promo, DJ promo for these guys a couple months ago and they wanted me to do this effect so I figured out a way to do it in Final Cut. Here's how it looks. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, make a new project. Uh, make sure the settings are correct. We're going to name this big head effect. Click OK. All right. So now just drag in your clip. I'm going to use this clip right here. Command plus to expand the view. Cut to the part where you want the effect to start. Also, I can um, slow mo this clip since I shot it in 120 frames. So to do that, just uh, click Command N and then just drag it to how long you want it. OK, awesome. So now just go in the search bar, type in mask and drag mask onto the clip. Now all you have to do is just start masking out the head. So you can zoom in a bit. And the more precise, the better it'll look. So take your time with it if you can. Uh, sometimes you don't have to. You can be a little sloppy with it, depending on how the clip is. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this as precisely as possible. So you just want to mask around the head so once you're done with the mask and you're happy with it just duplicate the clip by pressing command C to copy and then command V to paste then just drag the uh, masked clip uh, above this clip and then just remove the mask effect away from the duplicated clip. Now we're going to keyframe it to make uh, the head bigger. So just go to the transform section on the mask clip. Click this keyframe right here for the scale and the position. And I'm going to go about four frames in. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to make it 150 and then just drag the position to the middle. Right there is about good. And then just go four frames again, one, two, three, four, and then bring it back to 100 and bring the position back to zero. Let's see how it looks. Okay, not bad. We can refine it a bit as well by going to the mask and going to the control section of the mask effect. Sorry, the control points of the mask effect and clicking the keyframe button over there to adjust the mask as it gets bigger. Now, you don't have to do this. Uh, it already looks fine, but if you wanted to look um, you know, if you want it to look a little better, so you can refine it a bit by going frame by frame and adjusting the mask. It's only four frames, so it shouldn't really take that long. You can also mess with the feather a bit if it's still not looking right. Just to, you know, um, soften up the edges a bit to hide the um, in, what do you call it, the imperfections. Effect looks pretty good. Again, you could al always, um, if it's not looking too well like it is right here, you could just adjust the positioning during each of the keyframes adjust the position so it looks a little better and stays in the middle that pretty much wraps up this tutorial hopefully that helps out i'll be posting more tutorials on this channel so subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials thanks for watching